Hi, Papercut here with another replay review. This time we have Slippery Soybean. Slippery Soybean has named two things that they've noticed. One is that they feel like they know what they're doing, but they can't like react fast enough. Totally something a lot of people struggle with, as well as feeling like they can see what their opponent is doing wrong, but not able to capitalize on it. So I'm, I'm going to try to talk about those two things as we're going through here, but mostly we just want to look at what they did wrong, what they could do better, and what are some big takeaways they could take into their future games. So we have Slippery Soybean here playing, uh, and, and he's plat uh, one, plat one, I think, in this game at least. He's playing against the Rus as the HRE on Lipany. So let's hop into it. I usually speed to the start here. So against Rus, you have the option to go two scouts. I tend to stay one scout because I don't find it worthwhile to potentially mess up my opening to maybe get like one more deer pack. Now, you, that doesn't mean you get more sheep, but it really depends do you have the APM to do this. It helps that the HRE opening is pretty easy. So, for example, I'll play Delhi a lot. The Delhi opening is pretty complicated. I play Chinese a lot. Chinese opening is pretty complicated. So, with the HRE opening being pretty straightforward, two scout, getting the extra deer pack, totally good. And you, it looks like you're doing great on it. You're not messing up your opening. You should get the sheep back here in time. Very nice. And you're getting over to his side, too. So, you, you played this really well. His opening is really good. Ooh, a lot of sheep. Wow. Great job. Okay, mine work. I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> um, I don't know if you go mine work often. I think I watched one of your games. I was gonna review a game a few days ago, but I ran out of time. Uh, you say you go Arkin. So I don't think you do this a lot, but you're going mine work. Let's see if you do it. I would say almost always you want to go. Arkham Chapel. I used to play HRE a lot. HRE is the first civ I really mained. And I really only win mine work against English because I kind of like the strategy of doing the faster soldiers and I would just master archers and not master archers. But that was like kind of the only time I did it. And that was on uh, Pit, which is a much smaller map. So we'll see how this goes for you. But I would love if you message me your thought process on this afterward. My guess is that you think you need... Maybe you want to fight him in feudal, but the but the eco bonus of the Arkham Chapel is just so, so good. So I would just suggest not doing this often. Just imagine this. You put Arkham... Like here. You have... All these sheep, you have this wood, this is protected. You could wall this off here. You could wall it off here. Then your farms are protected. You could have put it over here and touched this wooden line and got these berries, got this gold. There's some options here for you. And now that you have two scouts though, you should, you should be really on what he's doing. So this is a problem. You're on two scouts and you have no idea what he's opening with. All you, all you know is that he opened with uh, the Kremlin, but is he going? Actually, you do know. You know he's going two TC. So here's here's a problem you're facing. Your opponent's going two TC. He's probably going to drop it on these deer. And you have no way to stop him. I don't think you're going to get a men of arms out fast enough to stop the second TC from coming up. Maybe, but you have to know where it's going. Now you you have eyes on the map. It would be great if you had your scout right here, so you knew exactly where his unit, his uh, villagers are going to set up a TC. Which, if I had to bet, right here on these two deer pack is going to be the spot. If you can stop him setting up the second TC there, then this was worth it. No, ignore the scout. Yeah, and you're out of time. So here's the problem. You've lost your advantage here. Well, he's going to have... He's going to be making double the villagers of you. And the way you would have kept up with that was an eco boost from your Arkham Chapel, which you don't have anymore. And either you need to go to TC or you need to go to Castle. You should be going to Castle. And you could be hitting Castle right now pretty soon if you had done the normal HRE build. Which would allow you to get relics, and that's how you balance out the eco. At this point, I don't know what your win condition is. You can't poke his gold because of his 
Let's see. Kill one. They can just sit here. Don't have enough spears. So now, what's the game plan? You're just gonna sit here, like now. You have to fuel fight, and this is all in. This is all or nothing. Um, one, I wouldn't make archers yet because he's just making knights. He'll make archers, but if you just do, I would make horsemen actually. Horsemen for his archers, spears, and men at arms for his knights. But here's the thing. You should be attacking his second TC, which I assume is right here. You haven't found it yet. You, if with two scouts, you need to be moving these scouts around. Because this would be worth it if you kill his second TC with your units. Which you could. You kind of have a window where you could kill his second TC. Killing this landmark actually doesn't do anything for you because he's got all this food back here. And he could go to a different gold mine. Instead, his his eco bonus is starting to pay off. Here's what you need to think about it. If someone goes second TC, you have a you have a window of where you have put money resources into units, and they put it into eco, and they're trying to survive till their eco investment pays off, and they can now outproduce you. Till that point, you can make enough units to actually beat him. You have to just, you have to do damage though. The other option is to use your extra resources to go castle. You're choosing to make units. So in that case, you have to do damage. What damage? Well, destroying the TC is usually the best way to do damage. Because th this isn't doing anything. Where's the second TC? Look. This is such a killable second TC. With four knights. Like, here's the thing. Actually, I'm watching this. Your strategy could have worked. He does not have a lot enough units. But you gotta attack the TC here. You gotta attack the TC. If you're walking in with two rams onto this TC, he loses all his food and he dies because he can't outproduce you at that point. He has to go over here, which you could predict that he's going to the boar. So this is this is the issue is you attack the wrong spot, in my opinion, because right now his food's about to come online. And you age up here. If you age up, I would actually argue you should just wait until you you get your age up units. Because look at all these archers now. And, see, and, and look at this. See how your archers didn't really do anything here? For archers to be effective at knights, you need like 30 archers. Again, you might say, well, my archers kill their archers. It'd be better to just have horsemen on, on, on these archers. So going archers was, in my opinion, a waste of resources. So now your castle. Yeah, I see. You, so you've gotten... But here's the problem. Since you attacked when you hit castle, you lost all your army. He knows you lost all his army. So now he's going to run around the map with these, four cat, with these four knights and try to pick off... He knows you're going for relics. Or he could dive your eco and you have nothing to stop him with. Which I said, if you're just going to go castle... Just wait. Just just let your units become castle units, and you'd have been fine. Because he because the threat of you standing there would have forced him to stay in his base. Now, this isn't the worst thing in the world, but he can now rush castle and he'll be fine. Because once again, he's sitting on all of this food over here. Now your castle come. So you know he's knights, archers. In my opinion, your best bet here is mass men of arms. Mass men of arms. Uh, you need to do mass knights. So you got the knight up upgrade. Yeah, you got the knight upgrade. So here's what you should do. Go mass knights. Force him to go spears. And then you either go knights, archers yourselves. You have three archery rangers, which is pretty crazy. But here's the thing. Your HRE. You have... Men at arms that do extra damage against heavy units. You should at this point go mass men at arms. You, you, since you meant mine work, you have two possible unit comms here. One is just mass knights. He'll start making spearmen, but your knights go everywhere. You have four knights attacking his eco near the two the two TCs. You have four knights diving here. And eventually once you mass enough knights, you do knights with uh and you get the inspired warriors upgrade. You do knights with mass uh healers. You go in. That's a great comp because you're just going to out damage them. 
Another option is do mass men at arms with siege. So get if you get two or three Maganels, those archers die, and also against men at arms, those archers aren't very good. I think you're doing the worst possible comp. You're going spear crossbowmen, which his archers will just tear through your spearmen. His knights will then kill the range. There are times you want to go archery ranges. I, I'm not. I'm not the type that says you can never go archery ranges as HRE. You might need to. Getting a good amount of crossbows helps, but that's lean into what you got. You have relics, so you can just go and you did the and you did the knight upgrade. So go mass knights. I think you're going second TC here, which yeah, I'm fine with dropping the second TC here, but you have to worry about. I'm actually surprised he hasn't aged up yet. There he is. There we go. Okay, going Mass Knights. Good wall up. Good wall up. Are you, wait, are you doing this to get a, a keep? Or are you doing a second TC? Looks like you're doing a keep. Wait. Second TC here would be choice. Second TC here. But here's the thing. You're at 42 villagers. He's at 57. You have three relics, four relics. You never built the walls up here. Like what? What? What now? Are you just gonna build up a bunch of knights? I'm a big fan of once you get four knights, your first four they should go out and start raiding. That that slows down your opponent. But you also have no scouting, so you have no idea what's going on. Here's a key. If the boar is gone, if you if you're looking and you don't see the boar is here anymore, go go there. I hope that's what you're doing here. That was gonna be juicy. We get there. Oh no! Oh, it was right there. It was right there. Oh look at this. So your opponent predicted this and has gone mass crossbow. But here's the thing. You want beats mass crossbow, Magnus, and, and lots of men at arms. And you know what you do? You just rush your men at arms, surround them, kill them with the men at arms and Magnus. Is the power of the HRE is you get so many men at arms you just overwhelm them. You also want the food upgrade. But think about it. your knights going back here. Your knights could be doing damage right here. Your knights could be going through here. I I don't know why you pulled your knights back. Boom! They kill these seven villagers. They chase after you. You have two knights come over here. Boom. You, like, One thing you should do is once you get knights, look at the map. Where are his resources? Attack the resources. Just send a couple knights. Raid the resources. You're literally letting him go oh, right behind you. Pain. Oh, so you're going Palace of Swabia and then... Don't put the Palace of Swabia so far out. Just put the palace, put the palace here. Either put it here or put it here. I would just put it here. You don't need the Palace of Swabia forward or out. Sorry about my dogs barking, but they gotta, they gotta let the, the neighbors know. And now look at this. So you rushed Imp on 21 units. He has 86 units. And the problem here is that you could have held this if these towers... We're upgrading the cannon emplacements right now. Cannon emplacement towers with the uh, with the relics slay. Like I, I've seen top level players who rush imp and basically have like four or five towers that have cannon emplacements and they can hold. But what he he calculated that he, he knew you're like basically towering up here. He's like, I'm just going to make army and walk in. You tap turtled, and then you never scouted him. You never went and saw his army and assumed you could age up without an issue. He has way too many units. And he attacked you at the perfect time, too. He has so many extra resources. You could have been making way more units while aging up. I'm surprised he doesn't win here.
Is it just like not find your? I guess this keep the keeps will just I'll let you live here. I, I admire the tenacity here, but no, you need cannon upgrades. Yeah, it's basically over at this point. Uh, we don't need to watch the rest. It's just over. It's just him running you down. Um, so here's, here's my assessment here. I think the mine work might have been a unique strategy by you. I'm curious. Well, while I explain my thoughts, I'm going to watch one of the games you played recently where you won. I'm curious. Um, so my thoughts is, one, if you're going to be, if you're going to do a feudal rush as HRE, it can actually work because your opponents won't expect it. Um, but you got to pick your right spot to attack. If you're going to, early aggression relies on picking the correct spot to attack. You didn't pick the right spot. You didn't scout. And you didn't attack where his resources are. Here's the thing. I could have predicted where he went just by looking at his resources. He wants to go to TC. Where are the deer packs? He's going to go on a deer pack. You attack that TC, it dies, and you win. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta attack at the right spot. And when you do an all out like that, you gotta do it. Like, you decided to go castle. Okay, if you're gonna go castle, those units not become your defending units because he's been building up to defend you and he's just gonna attack. So you go, you go Akin here. Okay. So maybe I watched a video where you decide to not, where you decide to do a weird strategy. But if you decide to attack feudal, you have to pick the right spot to attack. Second, once you hit castle, you still got to scout. If you want to rush imp, that is the common thing you do as HRE, right? You get three or four relics, you rush imp. I'm all for it. But you have to keep scouting. And if, you're a unit, if your opponent's making that many units, you got to make units yourself. You should have put those those keeps up in your base. You should put the swabia in your base, and you might have been able to hold. Um, and if you're going to try to rush imp on very few units, you got to build... Uh, towers to put cannons in because cannons can basically defend really really well I mean they can even kill and, and if you have like four or five towers they can even take out uh, ramps or at least you can have villagers take down ramps and then rebuild those villagers with Swabia and you're fine um, but you gotta keep scouting into castle into imp to know what your opponent is going for lastly your comp um, I get going mass knights but you gotta go mass knights quicker and they have to be doing things so raiding is really important. Raid where you know the resources are at. Raid with three or four knights at a time. That will slow your opponent down and buy you time. Because um, you can't just let him sit there and boom without you doing anything. Um, and if you go mass knights, you got to pair it with something. I would say either Maganels or Archers. Uh, just because he was... If you saw the massive crossbows he had, just going in mass knights wasn't going to work. Um, it can, but you have to be quick with it. Like, the second hit castle, you should have had four stables up pumping knights, and then it could have worked. But since you switched to knights halfway, like, later after, he was had time to respond. So overall, to summarize those three things, one, correct spot to attack. If you're going to be aggressive, pick your spot to attack based off resources. Where are they located? What do they need? Two, keep scouting throughout the game. Respond to what your opponent is doing. Keep to your game plan, but respond correctly. And three... Unit comp based on your Civ strengths. Cool. With that in mind, I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions or feedback, and good luck on your future games.